If you're looking for cheap, fast and reliable coins, go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code DJ99 for 5% off. What's up YouTube, Danny and welcome to some more FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Potential Ratings. Today we have episode number 2 including players like Neymar, Iron Robin, Gareth Bale and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. If you do want to see more of this season, just smash the like on the video and if we can give a 200 likes, that would be absolutely insane. So let's go into our first player. So our first player for today's episode is going to be Iron Robin. This guy's an absolutely fantastic team for Bayern Munich, uh, scoring 18 goals and assisting 11 in 33 games for the German club. So I think he really deserves a pace of grade just because he is clocked as the fastest ever player in the world in history as well. And I think it's something like 37 kilometers an hour, which is absolutely incredible. So that's why his pace has gone up plus two. And maybe could be going up to 95 uh, slash 96 as well. So I've actually upgraded his dribbling and shooting as well. Uh, but his rating has stayed the same as an 8 rare player. So the question is, should he be higher rated than Ribery? Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. So our second player for today's episode is going to be Xavi. This guy's actually, you can kind of see his age coming into a big factor as he's not scored as many goals, nor assisted as many goals this year, uh, but still should be high rated on the next game. So actually downgrade his pace, his dribbling as well. Uh, but as, uh, as he's become a bit more deeper, I've actually actually upgraded his defending and his passing as well, uh, plus one. So he's actually uh, been downgraded minus two in my opinion. Uh, so you guys can leave comments. Do you think it should be even upgraded, downgraded, or stay the same as an 89 rare player? So leave a comment, uh, so let's move on to our third player. So our next player is going to be Neymar. This guy is an absolutely fantastic team for Barcelona and also starting amazing uh, for Brazil at the World Cup. So I've actually upgraded him to uh, plus 1 to an 85, uh, but after his World Cup performances, I think that could be even 86, maybe even 87. It's up to you guys in the comment section below. So I've actually upgraded his pace, actually downgraded his dribbling uh, from 92 to 91. I've actually upgraded his shooting, defending, passing and heading uh, plus 1 as well. And actually, he's gone up to an 85 rare player. So he still scored 19 goals this year. Uh, for Barcelona and Brazil, uh, so he's still had a fantastic team, but obviously uh, a lot of people actually expect him to a lot better as a new club. Uh, so let's see what we can do next year. Could he be high rated in 85? Uh, leave a comment in the comments section. So our next player is going to be Gareth Bale from Real Madrid. So this guy is actually worth the highest in the world, obviously, uh, going to Real Madrid in the summer uh, for £100 million, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, so I've actually kept three in the same, but you see that position change. Uh, from a centre forward to the right wing, kind of similar to Neymar, and I like the I like the fact that Bell's moved to uh, that wing position. I think he's a lot better player in that position. So I've actually kept him an 87 rated player. Uh, he's not he's not been as fantastic as people thought, uh, but still had a great season for Real Madrid, uh, scoring over 20 goals this year as well. So he's actually upgraded his pace, his dribbling, and his shooting. Uh, actually downgraded his defending as to become more attacking for Real Madrid, and obviously he's kind of losing the defending stats in my opinion. So uh, what do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And let's move on to our next player. So our next player for today's episode is going to be Thiago Silva. For me, this is the best defender in the world and has had a fantastic start for Brazil at the World Cup and also playing a great part uh, for the PSG team as well. So actually upgrading plus one uh, from 87 to 88 and his pace has gone up plus one, he's defending plus three, he's passing plus two and he's heading uh, plus one as well. So he's had a fantastic season, uh, keeping so many clean sheets and basically he's my favourite and in my opinion the best defender in the world as well at, at the moment as well. So I think he's a lot better than Sergio Ramos, players like that and even players like PK as well. So this guy could be a legend in the future. Uh, so let's see what his rating is for FIFA 15. So our next player is going to be Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So I just couldn't leave this guy for today's episode and it's one of the players you wanted to see for uh, today's player predictions episode. So first of all, I've actually downgraded his pace, uh, minus one. He's obviously getting a lot older now. Uh, I think he's 33 years old now, so he's kind of aging slightly. So I've actually kept his dribbling and his shooting uh, the same. Actually, his shooting's gone up plus one. He's defending plus one, and he's heading plus two as well. So he's still scored a lot of goals this year. Again, getting over 20 goals and win the league with PSG as well. So I've actually kept his friend the same. I think his season was as good as last year, and I don't think he actually de deserves to be a nice rare player in my opinion, but this is only my opinion. You can leave comments in the comment section below. Uh, should it be 90? Maybe should it be downgraded? It's up to you guys. Leave a comment in the comment section. So I've actually stayed in 89, but obviously uh, some of his stats have gone up, and let's see how overpowered he is on FIFA 15. So our final player for today's episode is going to be Yaya Torre. This guy was Man City's top scorer this year, and I think scored I think it's 18 or 19 goals this year. 
and that's a fantastic season for Man City. So I've actually changed him uh, from a CDM to a centre midfielder, uh, just because Fernandinho's come in and now has allowed Torre to move further up the pitch. So for me, he was one of the best players in the Premier League this season, and so had a fantastic part of obviously Man City uh, win the league this year. So I've actually uh, stayed his pace the same, actually upgraded his dribbling plus one, his shooting plus four, obviously scoring a lot of goals uh, from the deep midfield position as well, and obviously his passing has gone up plus two as well. So this could be a fantastic card to use in the next game, and he's definitely going to get an upgrade, there's no doubt about that as well. So that's actually going to be the end of today's episode. If you guys have enjoyed, remember to smash a like on the video, and if you can get 200 likes, that would be absolutely insane. And also, if you do want to see more of this series, remember to smash a like, and also leave a comment as well, and tell me what you want to see in the next episode as well. So there could be any players you want, uh, there could be gold players, silver players, uh, bronze players, you name it, uh, put a comment in the comment section. So, uh, thanks for watching this episode, again a massive thank you for Daily Renders, or Daily Renders, sorry, for helping out uh, with the graphics of this video. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.